Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the 2GIG GC2E and the programming of the Pad 1 345 into the panel. Uh, super easy to do. We're going to go ahead and hit security to start off, and then menu, and then toolbox. Go ahead and enter whatever your installer code is. Mine is the factory code of 1561. Then we're going to hit the right arrow twice. At this moment, go ahead and choose Installer Toolbox, and then System Configuration. Now go ahead and hit the Skip button until you get to Q4. So it starts off at Q1, hit Skip, 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 and then you should be at Q4. And you should see, select RF keypad number 1 to 4. I uh, am not going to program on any other than one right now because I don't have any other keypads programmed in. If you do, you would just press the right or left arrows to choose which keypad you want to program. As I said, I'm going to leave it on one. Go ahead and hit the down arrow to confirm that. It wants to know if this device is going to be used, so you press the right arrow to enable that. And then go ahead and hit the down arrow. Now it wants to know the equipment code for this device. The equipment code is 0867 for the Pad 1. Once again, that is 0867. Once you've entered that correctly, hit the down arrow to acknowledge it. Then you want to go ahead and hit Shift and then Learn so that we can learn the keypad in. You can press any button you'd like on this thing, it'll learn it in. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the number 1, then hit OK to confirm it. Confirm that that serial number is correct and then hit the down arrow. It wants to know the equipment age. It is a new piece of equipment, so we'll hit the down arrow. Now it wants to know if the emergency keys are going to be used or not. I do want to use the fire and police keys, so I'm going to leave that in there. Hit the down arrow. It then wants the voice descriptor for the keypad. This is keypad 1. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit the down arrow to confirm that. Now at this point, the keypad is programmed in. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the skip key and then we're going to hit end. That will program it in and at this point it will show a whole listing of things that are there. Um, you can uncheck the box that says uh, save changes if you've made a mistake. Uh, I didn't so I'm going to leave it checked and I'm going to hit exit. It should go through a reboot procedure at this point. We're going to wait for the keypad to come back up. Once the keypad comes back up, we'll go ahead and we'll use this new device and see if it works. Alright, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll hit stay. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and we'll disarm it with the code that's programmed in the panel. My code is still the factory code of 1111, so that should disarm it here. Okay, sometimes there's a little bit of a lag, you have to press it a few more times, but uh, 1111 did disarm it. Now we'll go ahead and we'll arm it away mode. Okay, now we'll go ahead and we'll disarm it. Okay, now it's disarmed. I would test the police and fire panics, but it'll get a little loud, so no need to do that. Uh, this keypad is programmed correctly. At this moment, it is ready for use. You can go and get it mounted. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any comments at all, please leave them below. But other than that, take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.